Hey guys, welcome back to Awaji Island Stories. Today we came to Nijigen no Mori. It's one of the biggest parks on Awaji Island. And besides the great nature, it has a lot of really cool attractions. I think you already got it from the title, but today we're gonna fight a huge Godzilla. The King of Monsters is already over there. Let's come closer and take a look. That's Godzilla's tail. Wow. It looks just so natural. This signs authorized personal only. It just complete the image so much. Look how huge it that. And I can see Godzilla itself. I don't know, it's not like I'm a huge Godzilla fan or something, but this thing is really impressive. Come on, it's huge. Bye-bye. I don't know, can you see it through the camera or not, but his eyes made in the way like, no matter where you are, it looks like he's watching you. I'm moving and this eye is following me. Can you feel it? Yeah. This place just doesn't feel real. Right now, a few helicopters pass by. And of course, it's not the part of attraction, but it just made me feel so much like in a movie. And so finally, we arrived to the Nigat, which is National Awaji Island Institute of Godzilla Disaster. <laughs> That's intense name. <laughs> For the beginning they show video. The story tells how this huge Godzilla appeared on Awaji Island. To avoid spoilers, I'm not gonna tell you what exactly this story about, but trust me, it's really well made and quality, it's amazing. For the second, I even forgot that I'm not in cinema. So now, after we know why exactly Godzilla is here, we have a special mission. So the mission is in the inside of で、その細胞を除去するという隊員のミッションがありますので、で、えっとメインのアトラクションである<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> He's over there. I'm gonna fight you, boy. And after taking a zipline, we are heading to the next mission. On the way to the shooting dock, there is a great chance to observe Godzilla's body. Here you will get your gun and begin a shooting mission. Within a two minutes, you will need to remove the Godzilla cells to stop their spread. Are you ready? Let's go! <laughs> Mission complete! I think we did well. And actually the next mission gonna be in Godzilla Museum. I'm excited. Ooh. I'm glad he sleeps now. So at the entrance of the museum there is a final scene from Shin Gojira. The funny thing is that he is destroying the Tokyo station. And Tokyo station is actually the last station I've been before moving to Awaji. My Shinkansen was from Tokyo station. That feels really weird. Oh, and if you look from here, you still can see the big guy. And I just went right into his mouth. There is a lot of Godzillas. Most of them appear in different places. So here you can see the map where they actually appeared before in all the movies. There's so many cool models and everything. Like these two guys are actually a costumes which people was wearing when they was filming in Godzilla movies. And the coolest thing is the detailization of all the scenes. It's just amazing. You can see tiny signs on the buildings. Personally, me. With my camera, just shooting this, I feel like I'm shooting a movie myself. Oh gosh, and I just love this ship and his tail. Super cool. And look at this, it's Mothra. It's also the real one they used in the movie.
And that's actually the scene from the movie which they are showing before the beginning of adventure. After watching this, you will understand what is it all about. I'm ready to pet this one, really. <laughs> this guy is really scary, though. In the end of the exhibition, there is a studio where you can take pictures and also film a fun video on a blue screen. This shooting was really fun, and look what we got as a result. exit through the gift shop. The amount of Godzilla goods there is very impressive. You can find everything from phone cases, stickers and plates to all kind of kaiju toys, models and Godzilla clothes. And if you are not too much into the scary things, you can also find your own cute chibi Godzilla. As an option, you can get some curry or Godzilla cake as a present for your friends. They also have Godzilla stylized food truck. It really looks like a scratch from Godzilla's hand. So when you complete a mission, you get a special card, and in the end there's four of them. And when you turn them this way, they form a big logo of Nigad. <laughs> Finally we are done, and I got really hungry. <laughs> yeah. And the coolest thing, they have a special Godzilla menu. I got a white Mothra curry. Godzilla what? curry! Is it like really Godzilla meat? How do you think? <laughs> yeah, okay, it more looks like karagi chicken. Amakuchi. Karakuchi. I wonder what did this blue thing do? Daikon? Daikon? Mm. あおいの。あおいしてる。いただきます。白いけどカレー味なの?うん。本当。カレー味美味しい。うん。うん。すごいね。なんか量が大きいね。うん。And mm. 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 by the very funny coincidence, the bill for our curries and drink turned out to be 4,444 yen. Must be some good sign, in my opinion. And for the dessert, we got Godzilla shoe cream. <laughs> Just adorable. <laughs> I even feel bad to eat him, honestly. If you have a kids with you, don't forget to bring them into the kids' park. There is an area where they can play with lots of kaiju toys and become a monster while destroying soft version of Kobe City. Ni Jigen no Mori is a Japanese term which you can translate as two-dimensional forest in English. Besides Godzilla operation, the park have various attractions based on anime and video games such as Naruto and Baruto, Crayon Shin-chan and a Dragon Quest. It is a quite popular destination for anime and video game fans who want to immerse themselves in the world of their favorite franchises. So after all, it was a great decision to spend a day off in Nijigen no Mori at Godzilla Interception Operation. <laughs> the music. Right after entering the park, you can hear Godzilla theme from the original movies. And it's sort of preparing you for attraction before you start. And also in the museum, this music makes everything look twice more epic. In general, this atmosphere of diving into Godzilla's world, it's really well made and I still have a feeling that this monster exists in this world and it's really amazing, I never had such kind of feeling with any other movie. From all the stages of the operation I was really excited about Zipline and it was really great. The feeling of sliding into Godzilla's mouth is such a unique experience, I really love it. But after all the most enjoyable part unexpectedly for myself turned out to be Godzilla Museum with all these models and explanations how they film some scenes. For the person who works with the video, this experience somehow became the brightest one. So I really do hope that you will enjoy it as much as I did. Of course, we got our cool picture. It will stay with us as a memory. I just love it so much. And if you are still watching this video, I will give you a couple very useful suggestions, in my opinion. First of all, this place is pretty popular, especially on the weekends. So on purpose, we took a day off and came there in a weekday. In a weekend, you might spend uh, one hour in the line, but in our case, we just smoothly went from one part to another and it was really enjoyable. And museum also wasn't too crowded. So I've been feeling completely free to walk around, to look at everything as long as I want. And so I think coming there in a weekday really makes sense. And the Second suggestion, don't wear blue clothes when you come to the museum. As I showed you before, there is a video shooting with a blue screen and if you will have any blue clothes, your body simply can be transparent because of the blue back screen. So if you want to get a really cool video in the end, 
be sure you don't wear anything blue. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe this channel because I will definitely come back to Nijigen Namori and take some other adventures. And for now, it just feels like we don't have a choice. Me and my wife are about to start Godzilla marathon. So wish us good luck with watching all the Godzilla movies. <laughs> One more time, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.